What's going on, guys? It's your girl K Dot. I am about to. So, how often do you look back and be like, yo, I, I, I did these things? I'm like, that's kind of like some fly shit. Never. You never look back. I don't, I don't you don't appreciate your own shit? I do, but I don't. Like, I be feeling like, oh, I don't know. I do, but I don't at the same time. Like, I honestly be forgetting. Do, you, like, your fa do your family know what you do? Yeah, they do. Are they in tune? Are they, are they more excited than you sometimes? They in tune. I mean, Honestly, most of my family is in entertainment, except for my sister. She's a lawyer. Mm -hmm. But my brother, he was a director. He was a director in L.A. And then my sister does film as well. Then me, I do journalism. And my little brother does cartoon sketches. Mm -hmm. So it's like we all kind of like doing something, pursue it. But it's like... Shout out to your parents, by the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, five of them in the stop. I thought one of them was going to be a gangbanger. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, all of us, like, I mean, you know, we had our... Slip most, like, most of the men had their slip-ups, but, yeah. like... The girls, we always, mm. you know, make sure that we follow what my parents said because we wanted a better life. Mm. Yeah. Gotcha. So, I mean, but you got a little legacy at this point. Yes. Okay. Got you. Um, the old page before was leader. How many followers you have? 21 points. Well, I think 21K. I think we just said 21. 21K. 21K. Got you. So, it being deleted. Um, how did that happen? Um, okay. So, I'll just give you a little backstory. Basically, with, like, news now like social media um you'll find things online or sometimes people will send certain things to you but in this particular case it was me i was <laughs> um <laughs> i was basically i found a, a um news and i wanted to post it and then um with everything now is like credit is so important so i tagged the page that i got it from um and then but it was from another source mm -hmm. and but they didn't cite that source so i did what i was supposed to do but at the end of the day it will comes, you know, from the original source, then mm -hmm. whatever. But um, in that meantime, you know, what have to happen is Instagram give you like, you know, tell, it gives you a warning, like don't do that again. Two strikes. You know, uh, they give you three strikes, but that first, that was the first one. I was like, okay, okay I will never do it again. And then all of a sudden, the same site, mind you, I have a friend on Instagram, so she showed me everything. Um, and from that same site, they just kept reporting, reporting. It was like simple things. And so with was that, was it still from said, your site? Yeah, but they, it wasn't like, we weren't like, you know, violating any guidelines, but they felt that they just wanted to attack us for that reason. For the one time or like for the other times too? Um, no, just for the one time, but they just kept, they just kept targeting a different yeah. post. Okay. They just kept Absolutely. making, and that happens a lot of times with news sources. If you notice a lot of the smaller pages who aren't verified, but they give the most news, they give the most tea or gossip, whatever, mm -hmm. they get deleted a lot. That's why they have a lot of backup pages. Mm -hmm. So, um. Ah, uh, hi, you just. Just broke down some just that shit I didn't know. I'm always wondering like, why you feel you're so important? You need all yeah, these that, Because people will delete you just that. because yeah, you're targeted and you're not verified, so it's easier to get your ass out of here. Mm. So that's what they kept doing. They kept reporting, reporting, reporting. And I believe they had a friend on the inside because if you know once um, they had a friend on the inside of Instagram and they ended up deleting it and then they told my source and then my source like one well, was say they showed me, but they kind of basically updated, you know. Mm what was gotcha. going on so okay then and so how did that make you feel when you that because that's a lot of work i yeah. was pissed like during quarantine i mean it was pretty boring like phase one in new york mm. but it really helped because a lot of people were inside and we were able to give the news that we wanted like mm. and then it was also a lot of things where we already post black power things mm. so when george floyd and black black lives matter um became such a big topic it was easy for fans to connect with us because we've done things like that before. Mm -hmm. So a lot of our audience just kept growing, kept growing, kept growing. Like, it, literally every week we hit another thousand. So that's why it was like, I think we were in quarantine at least for like 17, 18 weeks or something like that. And we were at 21K. So that means that we were growing even before quarantine. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, so once they deleted it, it was, we were just starting to make money. We were able to save up so that way we could, once we made accumulate enough money, we could start paying employees, things of that sort. And when that happened, it just shut our whole operation down. Like, mm. and so um, when that shit happens, you was immediately back on it. Like, this is new urban news page. Please follow immediately. Yeah. Um. What? I, what? It didn't seem like you fell off at all. So really? Uh, did, yeah. No. I mean, like, but how did you? How did you bounce back so quickly? Um, cause we had a team meeting, and I think it was a day or two. Like, I think it was a day or two that passed that we were like, we didn't do another page. Mm. But we had a team meeting. They was like, no, we need to pick it back up. Like, and once we get the old page back, we'll use it as a backup page. But we need to pick it back up, give the same news. And I was, cause I was kind of defeated. I'm like, oh, we do all this work. What are we going to do? I was about to run to, like, Twitter and just use Twitter and the website. But we use Twitter, but not as much as we use Instagram. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. um, and then my team was like, nah, we need to pick it back up. So I was like, all right. And then the next day, after two days, I believe, I made the Instagram, hired a couple of new people to, like, I added more people to social media. And then from there, we've been posting 24-7. Gotcha. So, are you posting more now than before? Would you say? Um, now, as of now, it's been pretty slow in the news, so not as much. But mm. before, we definitely posted way more because there's a lot going on. The news was crazy during the height of quarantine, yeah, y'all. Yeah, yeah. It was even COVID, and then the next week, it was George Floyd, then Breonna T Like, it was, like, so much to post, so much going on. I met Aubrey and all that. Testing. Yeah, this is, a, this is a very slow week in media. Like, I see some people posting, like, gossip that don't even, it's not even relevant. Like, it's mad slow. No, I think this week is, um, my mentor just went live, so. Well, that was, that was a day, but that's, things happen so fast. How long you want to drag out that story? That happened a day and a half Jay, ago. What? I see them people like I see, somebody posted some shit that went viral. Some nigga had posted a picture of Pam, but you was going to tell, and he was like, "You gonna tell me this the ugly friend?" Somebody reposted and said, "All right, so what we now about to do is have this argument every week." <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah, we've been doing this for a minute." Right? About, so, but people like that's the internet for you, like the shit, like your rehash, and people wanna we talk about it. And, yeah, and yeah, especially a lot piece. of. A lot of interviews they do that way. What's going on, y'all? It's your girl, K-Dot. I just Vincent. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment on my guy Slop's YouTube page. And, of course, follow me for more content. Peace.